Now we're rolling. <sighs> Greetings, <laughs> RC Model Geeks, and welcome to part two of the DH60 Moth build. Mm -hmm. Postman's bin. Yep. And bore me the wheels. Look at that. They're five inch uh, Williams Golden Age wheels. Uh, yeah, bloody expensive. Mm. Uh, got these from DB Sport and Scale, same as the uh, the kit. Um, check out their website, mm -hmm. DB Sport and Scale. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've got to say, you know, if you've built um, a DB was for David Boddington, right? Uh, prolific designer of model aeroplanes in the 70s and, and stuff like that. And I've I've built a few of his um, kits through the years. And in fact, some of the DB Sport and Scale ones. And uh, I have to say, these revamps of the original uh, designs are bloody good. If you built one, say, 20 years ago, one of the DB Sport and Scale planes, you'll find it's a lot different, much easier to put together now than, uh, than, they, than they were before. I mean, I've built their big uh, SE5A and uh, the Blackburn uh, monoplane. Um, from the original kits and uh, I'd say there's a lot more work in it than there is nowadays um, with the laser cutting and stuff it's made a big difference so worthwhile checking them out if you haven't done recently hmm. yeah so as I said we've got the wheels yep. wonderful um, we've got us we're yep. back yep. Um, yeah some people made some comments about uh, you know why don't you let us know what was happening and stuff like that well do you know what we couldn't decide what to do either Hmm. And you know, I was I was debating whether to just not you know not to do any more videos and and stuff like that. And plus, with the camera getting uh, getting stolen and stuff, um, you know, we just really didn't have the urge to do anything. No. So um, you know, it was all up in the air. But um, you know, once the urge came back, uh, this is the results. And if Colin pans down, I shall pan to the play. How about that then? Uh, uh, yeah, it's moved on quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, two fuselage sides are put together, um, the formers are in, the rear turtle decking here is, uh, is, is on, um, Colin nicely, well, Colin cut the uh, Paxilin, this is Paxilin, for those uh, old school modellers you'll know what Paxilin is, yeah. Um, yeah, Colin's cut the engine mount there um, and to put all the holes in it and stuff. So that's got some left thrust there, uh, and that fits right into the uh, the front of the plane. I'll, I'll turn it around, shall I? Okay. Make it easier, won't it? So the viewers can see. So that uh, that goes right in there like that. Yeah, and then the engine. Yeah, and the engine is going to go in there like that. Got it the wrong way around. No, I haven't. That's right. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's going to sort of sit like that. Obviously, we're going to do something with the exhaust um, because it won't fit in the cowling like that, and we don't want a horrible exhaust sticking out. But that's going to go over there. Give you a look with it off. Let you see what it sort of looks like. There you go. And that is a nice uh, vac form moulding. Actually, that fits so beautifully on there. Um, yeah, once that's just trimmed down around that edge, um, that's going to be lovely. Mm. So yeah, back form uh, cowling. You can, like I said, you can get two different types of cowling. You can get the gypsy moth cowling or the cirrus moth cowling. This is the cirrus moth one. Mm -hmm. They're both slightly different, and you uh, select that at the time of ordering, or you can buy one um, after the event if you change your mind. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's all the engine gubbins sort of basically worked out. Um, fuel tank's going to sit in here. Um, there's turtle decking to go over here, which this is how it comes actually. This has already been laser cut with the uh, the cockpit holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is just going to pop over there and wrap around. And you know, pretty much, if you use the last, it's finished. Hmm. Apart from a bit of shaping at the front there. Yeah. Uh, and it fits quite uh, quite nicely actually. Um. Yeah, the next thing, uh, that's like I said, that's the, the uh, fuel tank going there. So the next thing I've got to do is varnish up the inside of this um, fuel tank area because this is all going to be closed off. Mm -hmm. 
So we've got to get that all varnished up and fuel proofed, um, which is probably the next stage. Yeah. Because um, obviously, you know, we can't put this lot on. Um, yeah. So all the towels done as well. The uh, the rear section of the uh, the fuselage is done. Um, so it's got a tail skid. Yeah. Which uh, it basically has a bit of wood bound to it. So that's going to sit, actually it goes that way around, it's going to sit like that. Yeah. Something like that anyway. Yeah, that's going to be bound on there. Um, Colin did, because Colin's a bit of an old woman, uh, <laughs> I, I got him to do some stitching. Oh yeah, I did a bit the, of stitching. I uh, don't know if we can get a shot of that down in there. Yeah, we can get down in there. We'll get some imagine. light on the subject. There you go, going in. and we've added a, a little, oh, the only thing I've done is added a little extra plate there just to stop twisting of the uh, of the, of the towel skid, but uh, yeah that's all stitched in there and epoxied in, mm -hmm. um, so that shouldn't uh, snap off anytime soon. Um, yeah, I mean the construction of it, I showed you the sides before, the bare sides, basically once you've done that, um, all you do is glue in the three main formers, or well, the two main formers here, uh, and this one, mate up the other side to it, and away you go. Um, she comes out pretty straight. In fact, very straight. Hmm. Uh, it's a very straight plane, actually. Um, without with little effort, I have to say, getting, hmm. getting it straight. Um, it just sort of fell, fell together, really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're uh, we're slowly progressing on with it. Um, you know, uh, it's going to take a while to finish yet, but got to work out where to put the ignition system and stuff like that as well, because obviously that's not not factored in on this at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah ignition system, fuel tank, blah 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 blah, uh, and yeah, and we'll uh, and we'll plot on. Okay, and we'll be uh, back with you probably after we've varnished up the uh, uh, the fuel bay, uh, the uh, f yeah the um, the fuel tank bay. Yeah, that was the word. Okay. Yeah, fuel tank bay. <laughs> it just didn't sound right for some. No. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get on with that and uh, uh, come back to you. Okay. So for now, it's bye bye from him. No, it's not. Isn't it? No. Oh. Okay. So anyway, we'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah, we'll come back that bit up. Yeah. All right. Then. With varnish. Yes. Uh, in the fuel tank bay. Yeah. All right. Then. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. We have uh, we've varnished up all the uh, important parts around the fuel tank bay um, with some super duper uh, new modern varnish, which is actually white when you put it on, and it uh, then dries clear. So the next thing we'll be doing, uh, which will be in the next video, um, probably getting the sheeting over here, uh, making the cockpits and stuff like that, and uh, working out where the radio is going to go, finishing off the front. There's some more wood to go in here because it's going to be shaped and stuff like that mm -hmm. but all the important bits are, uh, are varnished up the bits that we won't be getting to again so uh, yeah so it's uh, it's coming along quite nicely mm. so um, join us all for the next uh, update okay uh, whenever that is um, depends how quickly the rest goes really mm. uh, yeah so it's uh, goodbye from uh, Mad Colin there and it's goodbye from Captain Rob Captain Rob <laughs> yeah oh, goodbye cheers then bye